Hi, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Dr. Richard E. Mayer. Use this table of contents to navigate throughout the presentation. Well, hello everyone, good to see you this morning. That was the voice of Dr. Mayer, and now let me give you a brief introduction of his background. He got his PhD in psychology in 1973, and for two years he taught psychology at the Indiana University before beginning his current position as a professor of psychology at the University of California in Santa Barbara in 1975. Um, he's received awards throughout his career, uh, among which are the 2000 E.L. Thorndike Award for Career Achievement in Educational Psychology, and in 2008, the Distinguished Contribution of Applications to Psychology to Education and Training Award. He was ranked number one most productive educational psychologist in the world from 1997 to 2001. Now let's find out why. At its most basic, multimedia learning is a combination of words and pictures. This could be analog as in a traditional textbook, or it could be digital, the words could be written, or they could be spoken. The cognitive theory of multimedia learning is that people learn better when words are combined with pictures. Information enters through the eyes and the ears, dual channels, and this is into sensory memory. The cognitive step is selecting what is relevant for further processing. That sensory input then goes into working memory where the input is organized meaningfully. Meaningful learning occurs when and if working memory then engages with long-term memory to form bonds and association. The 12 principles of multimedia learning. Extraneous words, pictures, or sounds make it harder to learn. Use cues to highlight what is important or where the person should look. People learn better from graphics and narration than from graphics, narration, and on-screen text. I guess that means I should not have included that bit of text. People learn better when words and pictures are near each other. Words and pictures should appear at the same time. Students learn better when they control the pace of the multimedia lesson. People learn better when they know the names and the characteristics of the main concepts. People learn better from graphics and narrations than from animations and on-screen text. People learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. People learn better when words are spoken in a conversational style rather than in a formal style. According to the voice principle, this may Sometimes it's not a good thing to add. In addition to books, Dr. Mayer has written hundreds of articles and many chapters that are editions of other books.